Hello everybody, welcome to Kalos. I'm your host this episode, RIP. And for this episode, I wanna to talk to you guys about nematodes. Recently, I built a compost brewer, so you know I've been doing a lot of research and I wanna share my research of what I found out about nematodes. All right, so let's dive into this. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is what are nematodes? Nematodes are microscopic worms. Now there's thousands of different types of nematodes and they live in just as many different places, but for what we're gonna be talking about are soil-based and plant-based nematodes. There are four types of free-living nematodes. Now when I say free-living, these are nematodes that are not attached to any particular location and are free to move through the soil as it pleases. The first type are bacteria feeders. And as you guessed it, they eat bacteria. The second type are fungal feeders. And as you guessed that, they eat fungi. The third type are predatory nematodes and they eat protozoa and other nematodes. But the key point is they eat other nematodes. Then we have the fourth type of nematodes and these are the omnivores and omnivores they are the nematodes that can eat bacteria, fungi, or be a predatory nematode. Now, it doesn't have to be in that order, and it doesn't have to be, um, they don't have to eat them all at once. They can eat them in different stages of their life. Now, we're going to go to the next thing, and that is where nematodes are found. Nematodes are the most abundant creatures on Earth and are concentrated near their respective prey groups. Bacterial feeders are found near roots where bacteria congregate. Fungal feeders are found near fungal biomass. Root feeders are concentrated around roots of stressed or susceptible plants. Predatory nematodes are more likely to be abundant in soils with high numbers of nematodes. Now, we're gonna get to the meat and gravy, right? Or the bread and butter, we should say, right? And that is, what do nematodes do? What are they good for? So nematodes are great. So the number thing, the number one thing that nematodes are good for is nutrient cycling. Like protozoa, nematodes are important in mineralizing or releasing nutrients in plants available form. When nematodes eat bacteria or fungus, ammonium is released because bacteria and fungi contain more nitrogen than the nematodes require. Right? So then another thing that nematodes are known for, they're known for grazing. And that's pretty much just check and balance, right? They keep bacteria in check and they keep fungus in check. They make sure that everything stays in balance. They disperse microbes. Nematodes help distribute bacteria and fungi through the soil and along the roots by carrying live and dormant microbes on their surface and in their digestive system, food source. Nematodes are food for higher level predators, including predatory nematodes, soil microarthropods, and soil insects. Nematodes are good for disease suppression and development. Some nematodes cause diseases, others consume disease causing organisms, such as root feeding nematodes or prevent their access to roots. These may be potential biocontrol agents. Nematodes play a very important role in nutrient cycling and releasing nutrients to plant growth. Other nematodes attack insects and help control insect pests. And the impact on soil health by devouring too much of their prey, especially mycorrhizal fungus. These are also predatory nematodes that balance the population of other nematodes. And a bunch of key words, nematodes help keep the balance in the soil. All right, thank you guys. If you guys find this video helpful or useful, please hit the like button and subscribe. All right, thank you.